Hi, I'm David John with General Produce in Sacramento, California. You know, with peppers now, it's not just the heat. It's the spice, it's the flavoring that everybody is out. More and more peppers are coming out every year. And this time of year, we have the famous hatch that's coming out. Now the hatch looks a lot like the Anaheim that you're used to seeing, but it's a great roasting pepper. It has a more mild flavor to it. Kind of once you roast it, a little bit of hickoriness. You'll notice they're a little bit lighter in color when they come out, but you don't want to miss it. This is a very short season. They'll be in for a few weeks and then out for the year. So you want to grab some, roast them up, freeze them off so you have plenty to get through the winter. But that's a real specialty. Now the next one we have here is what we call the cherry peppers. They're these little round bombs, almost look like an apple when you see them. And the cool thing about that, these are sweet. They're not very hot. They're real mild, real popular in olives. You see the little piece of pepper in the olives, that's what you're using. Slice them up for a salad, de-seed them. They're sweet, there's no real hotness to them, just a nice mild spice that will come out. So there's a great treat to do. The other thing that's becoming more and more popular really is the Mazanos here. The Mazanos are these nice bright orange ones that you'll see. These get a little hotter. They're gonna be a little hotter in a the jalapeno. They always have this dried stem. The other unique thing about this, when you cut it open, seeds are black. They're not white like you normally see. Great for cooking, salsas, things like that. Adds kind of a spicy hotness to it. Not real hot, a little hotter in a jalapeno, but great flavoring that's coming up. And then we have this chalaca that's out there. You're seeing more and more of these come into use now. This is great for your different cooking items. It's not real good to make a salsa or something out of. There again, the heat picks up a little more. These things will get up to nine, 10 inches long. Typically, they were dried. They weren't used for fresh a lot, but almost everywhere now you're seeing them consistently come into the fresh market and being used. It's driven by the chefs and the flavor blends they're trying to do. And the other one that we have that's definitely was always dried is the fresh arbol. So you're seeing it in the green form now before it even matures all the way to red. This picks up a little more heat, it gets hot, it's great in stews, things along that line. Use it sparingly until you get used to the flavor. This is called sometimes bird's eye, not bird's beak that gets a little hot, but bird's eye on that. So unique flavorings out there, great time to blend with the dishes. All of them grown between local here, Sacramento, down into Mexico. Enjoy the summer with some great flavors. That's the produce beat.